Hello everyone. So for today, we are going to be filling up our golden books now and finishing them up. Let's do Thomas the Train first. All right. So I have these pieces that were kind of on the side of it. And let's get going on this. I'm going to do this as my back page. This is my front. And the only reason why I'm using my paper tack instead of my usual is because, or instead of glue stick, is because. I figure it'll hold better with the fabric and the cardboard because we don't want it falling off. Especially if it's going to be coming up and down like that. You want it to stick in there really good. So I might actually stake something else right here, but I don't know. We'll see. Now, based off of how the other one looked, is this one going to be able to be right at the edge? All right. This one I feel more comfortable about. So I just watched Harriet for the first time on Amazon Prime. I think it was actually one of them HBO movies. Because I do get the HBO channel for that reason. I want to be able to watch cool documentaries and stuff like that. And I also have an interest in stuff like just movies in general, I guess. Obviously coming up. It's really easy right in this area, so just add extra fabric jack there. Lure down. There. That should take care of that issue. Now we got our covers covered <laughs> a little bit here. And now we're good to add things like this. And all our lovely pieces here. Two belly bands. Figure one right in the beginning, and one right in the beginning, or close to the beginning here, or end, I should say. Again, I'm going to be using my fabric tack here, just because. I like the little bit of strength that comes with Fabri-Tac. There we 
go. And I'm going to use my stapler to hold things down today. <laughs> I know normally I use my scissors today. I don't feel like using my scissors. I use my stapler today. My belly band here. Alright, now that we got the belly band going, I'm going to be adding more pieces of the femra here. I'm just thinking if one of these bags would fit one of these pieces here. I don't like that look. So, I'm going to dig a little here and see what I got. Got a lot of interesting things, random things. I like that as pocket or tuck, I should say. Let's tuck her right here. Or I can make it into a little pocket, side pocket. I think that's what I'm going to do. pocket there and let's add that into the side pocket so this piece is going to go in there let's see what do I want to add in there let's do with this little tuck here. And add one of these cute pieces to it. And let's see here. What else would be cute? Yeah. There we go. We want something for the belly band over here, too. There we go. Cute little thing. Look. Now I want something on this. No, it's big, but that'd be a fun pocket.
for a baby book, especially with my family being as big of bingo people as they are. That would be really fun. Now that's too big. That would fit. I think rather perfectly, maybe. Yeah. After it dries, give it a chance to dry first. All right, there is our last pocket. Add something in to this spot. Yeah, let's do a side one like I did on the other, the other side. to the other side here. We're gonna do this one. Yeah, we can do this. I just need to glue it together, obviously. Didn't finish this project. And then make it a tuck, maybe? So she can flip her open one of these and it will also come right in it. And it's also going to be a nice cute little tuck spot. for something like this to just stick into. Once it's dry. So I'm gonna switch back over here. Now that this side's dry, and we're gonna stick her in, see if it fits now. There we go. Okay, we got that one done. Okay, 
now we gotta switch to the other side. Which I kinda wanna do something here. So why don't I add this piece to it. And this piece I'm making it into a belly band to sit on here so you can do multiple things you don't have to keep it all the same every single time see all right put that away I just need to add one more to this side somewhere. Right there. Alright. Let's see here. I guess that ain't gonna work. Let's see. Ooh, that would be kind of fun. But do that so I can stick one of these to the back here. That's what I'm gonna do. And I have a bunch of small pieces, so I'm not so worried about, oh my goodness, what am I going to do when it comes down to the smaller pieces? Okay. Something for this one. No, this one. Might get one of the smaller ones. This is what I'm going to do. I, again, I don't remember which channel I got this from, but I kind of mass made it when I found this, so that's why I have so many pockets at the current moment is because I mass made a bunch of pockets out of old car stuff and that's just the way it goes all right now I want a fabric on here that seems kind of boyish no I'm not sure if I have that in my pile here a fabric a manual piece of fabric yeah most of my fabrics are floral <laughs> I guess this could somewhat look manly. The browns and blues, I guess.
I know you're probably thinking, what is she doing? Why is she cutting fabric into little tiny pieces? You will see in a minute. I like doing this once in a great while with my pieces where they're not going to look identical to the last. But I feel like this one needs tabs, so that's what I'm going to do is add tabs to it. Randomly throughout. <laughs> So I'm going to take my stapler here, angle it, and staple it in. And again, I'm just going to angle it, staple it in. And we're not going to necessarily have any rhyme or reason to why each one is getting the amount that it's getting and where it's getting placed. I'm just decided this one needs to have a little spice. Here and there. Although I do try to get these strings off it right away. And this is where I also, if I have like pieces like this, I'll stick like a random piece of paper in. <laughs> for writing space and that type of thing. But again, this is just to add a little something to what's already there. So now we got little tabs to go along with it that enhances that look. No particular order. But again, this one I'm trying to leave a little blank because I know my cousin's very creative and I want to be able to give her some creative outlet when she's by herself or just had a kid and wants something to be creative without having to feel like she has to fight tooth and nail for it.
perfect. And again, I'm probably not going to add a whole lot more to this just because I know how it is. She's going to be the type to want to just be able to pull it off the bookshelf and write in it or put whatever she needs to, wants to put in it and then leave it alone, put it back on the bookshelf. So this is how it's going to be. So let's just quickly walk through it one last time because I know at the end of this vacation I have another thing to do to go to so that's a family get together with all the cousins and stuff like that and I did leave it very oddly flamed and everything but again this one was kind of a custom order one so it was supposed to be left plainer she wanted to have the ability of writing on it a whole lot and have a lot of writing space, so that's why this one turned out the way it was. I might add a few little things, but as you know, this is a custom order, so this one I'm not going to be doing necessarily a walkthrough other than this. So that's it. This is the Thomas the Train one. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day or night. Bye.